Ray CT here, and welcome back to another adventure in the world of the Crystal Tent. In case you're wondering, I haven't gotten that much done since uh, my last uh, stream, which would technically be the last episode. But taking a look, I did finish filling in this quadrant with the underlayment. So we got that going for us. I had to go ahead and uh, take out some of the chickens over here because, well, I couldn't tell what was wild and what wasn't as far as, say, uh, the dirt chickens and the coal chickens. So, we got some babies growing, so we'll be doing good with that. As for wild chickens, eh, we got one... Two, three. Sorry, right, we'll take care of that sooner or later. But in today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish putting in the underlayment over here and here. And that might take a little while, but on the bright side, I do have some cobble with me. No, I got more than that in case you're wondering. Actually, I've got a full chest of uh, cobble. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on that, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, uh, I got a lot of underlayment done, unfortunately. I got this creeper that showed up. Apparently, I didn't light certain spots up. So it was just dark enough for him to come in. Alright. I think we got that taken care of. I got lit up better over on that side than I do over here. But, as far as everything else goes, uh, the underlayments are almost entirely done over here. And you need to go away. We'll get you in a minute. So there. Oh uh, well. As you see, it's just that easy to fill a sucker in. And to think, this sucker is going to be big. Chickens must have slayed a token. So we'll go ahead and pick some stuff up. If I can get a pen. Alright. We got that taken care of. And I should have enough cobblestone on me to go ahead and finish all this up. If not, I've got more stacks left over there. Not a whole lot, mind you, but a few. So now it's just a race to see if we can get them with this without having to get more stacks. And in case you're wondering, no, I have not made more uh, cobblestone since I showed you how many I had to be beforehand. So basically what I started out with was it. In other words, that uh, chest full of uh, stacks of cobble. Well, that and the few stacks I had on me. Come on. Now granted, after I get done with all this, there are some spots I'm going to need to go ahead and uh, pull up and then put back down. <clears throat> Namely that island, that little section there, the where the, where the pens are at, 
right around the cobble gen. Well, around it anyway. So the main reason for that is, well, I want to make sure every part of the island has an underlayment on there. Okay. Come on, cooperate. Yeah, this doesn't want to cooperate very well, does it? Not much I can do about that, but hey. At least this stuff is getting done. Of course, now that I have the underlayment done, I've got to figure out what I want to do for the main part of the island, how I want that to look. I got a slight idea in mind, but I'm going to need uh, more wood for that. That's all right, I can take care of that. Just like that, our 71 lot diameter circle is all pretty much done. Now I just need to go ahead and somehow get underneath all of this. Under that. That I don't have to worry about because that I built uh, pretty much on the stream. And you saw that. Wow. It's bubbly there. At least when you have somebody jumping in there. Thank you for your contribution. They will be needed. <laughs> okay. mind that this is the center line. What I'm planning on doing is going ahead and marking a path about three wide down the center. Or all, all the way around. But I think for the most part I'll end up having uh, grass around. So that'll help. But what to use for the center line? Uh, I mean, I can go ahead and say, just go ahead and do oak. Or I can use, say, dark oak for these uh, center paths. Or even better yet, I can go ahead and uh, choose uh, one uh, color, or one type of uh, wood for one direction, one for another, one for another, and one for another. See, I got jungle, I got dark oak, I got spruce, I have birch. That's four right there. Who knows, it might even be interesting if I had acacia, but. Yeah, something to think about. So I'm probably going to end up doing for one. Uh, yeah, this is going to have to move. Probably end up putting the crops over that way. So, let's see, how much cobble did I have left over? Oh, wow. And of course, he decides he wants out. What do you figure? Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tear the stuff down for the most part, and I'll be back shortly. So we'll see you in a few. Okay, I did go ahead and uh, fill in everything that was uh, under these right here. So now this whole thing has been underlaid with uh, cobble. I've marked out 
roughly where the center of this thing is at. So this is where the paths will show up. I just got to go ahead and take care of this. That's going to need to be moved. So the paths will be coming down this way. Yes, there is a gap between here and that crop field because, well, I want to make a little small border around it. I'm just not too sure what type of wood I'm going to use. But for the pathways, I'm thinking about just going ahead and using plain old uh, dark oak. So we'll get started on that real quickly. Just need to chop these trees down. Which is always fun considering how tall these suckers can get. And that was close. So I was gonna fall on out. did. Is it just me or these things sometimes seem to get taller and taller? Yeah, it's probably just me. should start deteriorating as far as leaves go. Perfect. Now we just gotta have to wait for it to regrow after uh, we get some uh, saplings down. Hopefully we have enough. I'm going to be a little irked if we don't. And at least this one doesn't have those vines on it. Which probably would have been nice, but unfortunately, we don't have any shears. Because we don't have any iron chickens just yet. On the other hand, the chickens that we do have are doing pretty good. Well, at least most of them at the moment have at least two types of two of the same type of chicken. Most of them. thing I was paying attention to where I was at on the tree. Otherwise I would have fallen down. And that wouldn't have been very fun, now would it? Well, for you guys maybe, not so much for me. Now the good news is we do have saplings dropping already. Bad news is I'm not too sure if it's enough yet. Not quite. Too far away, I'm right, almost right on top of it. Jeez. I swear that sucker gets pickier and pickier and pickier. Please ignore the sound in the background. This is a friend of mine snoring. Okay, what can I get rid of? What don't I need in my inventory right now? Mm. Let's see, I don't need that. Now I can pick that apple up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know he wasn't very enthused about that, was he? Come on. Two trees, I should get at least eight saplings out of both of them. Well, out of a total of eight. So far, I've only gotten three. Again, it looks like this one's going to be a cheapskate. Or at least this run through will be. Unless the tree's nice enough to go ahead and drop any uh, more saplings. Come on, leaves decay. Drop saplings. Yeah, that's the problem about trying to record this before sleep. You do occasionally get the occasional snore. Did we just get one drop down? Good. That means we can come plant another one. It'd be nice if we could plant two of them, but. I don't think we have the saplings for that. Oh, we do. Good to know. So now that those are planted, I'm going to put the sapling down here. Uh, let's use up those. Now we're starting to get, look like something here. Unfortunately, I'm going to take those out, but... Eh, not much you can do about that. And to think, this is where that path was to go to where the cobblestone generator was. Dang it, I didn't want to pick those up. Need those anymore. But still give them to me anyway. Yeah. The figures. Okay. I'm also trying to come up with a design for the center of that thing. But I'm not too sure just yet. So, did we get any more saplings or anything dropped out of here? Two more saplings. Not all that encouraging, mind you. Be an interesting path when I get done with it. And yes, I can do without the commentary in the background.
Yes, I know it's not, but he was trying to do that. Unfortunately, he's just making a lot of noise. There, we got a path out to that way. And I'm going to get rid of these, too. Darn. Um, okay, cobble. There we go. I thought I'd gotten every single piece here. Apparently not. Double checking. Get rid of those. I know I was about to go do something, I just can't remember what offhand. Uh, oh, I was going to place the sapling. Or replace as the case may be. There we go. Now we can get back along the lines of putting these down. Mainly because we don't want it getting too dark on the path. wondering how many I would be able to get through. And we almost used all that we had. Well, there's actually some more left uh, still in the chest anyway. As far as logs go. We got two directions done. That's going to be a pain in the butt. But oh well, we can deal with it. Hoping we split it off in two different directions. That I was not hoping for, though. Okay, is it saying dark enough? Yep. I 
now that you've seen what I'm trying to do here, I'll be back when I go ahead and get these pathways sorted out. See you in a few.